Hi, I'm Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ and in this tutorial I will cover the basic steps needed to create a downloadable item using the simple WordPress Download Monitor plugin. This plugin is great for monitoring the number of times your file has been downloaded as well as logging the visitor's IP, the date downloaded, country and username. Once you have downloaded this plugin, you can go ahead and make your first downloadable item. So we'll just go to Downloads, Add New. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to offer a high resolution image for download. So for my title, I'll just go. You can also give your download a bit of a description. So once you've given it a description, just scroll down and this is where you'll actually have to put in your downloadable item. So I'll go Upload, Select Files, and I'm going to go with my high resolution dog picture. Scroll down, Insert, and you can also add a file thumbnail. So I'm going to select an image. I'm just going to use my dog, but this will just be a thumbnail size so people can see what they're downloading. So I'll insert that one. And there's other fields that you can enter in if you wish. And here is where you can copy the shortcodes from if you prefer to do it this way, otherwise you can use the shortcode inserter. So I'll scroll up and I'll publish. So now that we've created our downloadable item, we'll need to put that into a post or a page so that our customers can view it. So I'm just going to do a page, add new. You can give it a title. I'm going to go with high resolution images. And here is where you can insert your short code copied from our documentation page, which also has other short codes that can be used with the download monitor plugin. Or you can use this SDM downloads button, which I will use in this tutorial. So you can see the download title. You can pick which one you want to use. I'm going to go with the, this one. And you can choose to include a fancy box. You can customize your button color. I'm going to go with orange. And you can choose for your customers to open their download in a new window. I'll also click that one. So insert SDM shortcode. Now that that's inserted, I'll just publish. Once you have chosen to publish, you can come up here and ensure that everything's working correctly. So as you can see, my downloadable item, and I can choose to download now. And that will show up in a new window as I selected. Now that you can see what it looks like with the fancy box, I'll go back and show you what it looks like without. So I'll delete this shortcode out and I'll go with my high resolution image again. I won't include the fancy box. This time I'll pick pink and I'm not going to open in a new window. So I'll insert that shortcode. I'll update and again we'll see what that one looks like. So as you can see, it doesn't have the image or the description. It's just got the download now button. You can also see that it doesn't tell you how many downloads has happened. So now that you've viewed what the downloadable item will look like, for your customers will head back to the back end of our site to look at the way the plugin tracks downloads. So we'll go to the logs and it's here that the plugin logs people who have downloaded your item. So you can see that it logs the title of what they've downloaded, the file, the visitor's IP, the date they downloaded, their country of origin, and their username. As well as logging the people who have downloaded your item, the plugin also keeps track of how many times the file has been downloaded. So as you can see, my file's been downloaded three times. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you have any further questions, I encourage you to come to this documentation page, head over to the forum or email us.